For decades, the global commercial skies have been almost exclusively dominated by the two giants, Boeing and Airbus. However, that monopoly is beginning to shake as China launches an ambitious declaration with the C919, developed by Comac. Notably, the C919 is gradually proving its potential to become a formidable third option as it continuously garners interest from international operators. How is this aircraft closing in on the status of a true rival to Boeing and Airbus, and who will be the first to operate it? Let's find out. In the narrow-body single-aisle aircraft segment, Boeing from the United States and Airbus from Europe have maintained an almost absolute dominance in the category that accounts for most commercial flights worldwide for a long time. Names like the Boeing 737 and Airbus A320 are not only symbols of technological excellence, but have also become the backbone of short and medium haul networks for hundreds of airlines across the globe. Yet, in the face of this seemingly unshakable duopoly, China has been quietly planning a bold breakthrough. With the ambition of reclaiming autonomy over its own skies, China introduced the Comac C919, the first domestically developed narrow-body medium-range aircraft designed to compete head-on with the Western icons. This is not merely a technological project, but a symbol of China's aspiration to take control of the aviation supply chain, an industry long dominated by the West in terms of technology, engines, and systems. The C919 project was assigned to Comac, the Commercial Aircraft Corporation of China, established in 2008 with substantial backing from the Chinese government. From the very beginning, the objectives were clearly defined. Reduce dependence on imported aircraft, build an aviation icon that's made in China, and gradually challenge the dominance of Airbus and Boeing. The design of the C919 was unveiled in the same year Comac was founded, but it wasn't until 2015 that the first prototype was officially revealed. However, the path to conquering the skies has never been easy. The C919 underwent nearly a decade of flight testing, technical adjustments, design refinements, and numerous regulatory hurdles, from safety certification and flight performance evaluations to proving its capability in the demanding environment of commercial aviation. Finally, on September 20th, 22, the C919 received its type certification from the Civil Aviation Administration of China, a major milestone marking its readiness for commercial operation. Just three months later, on December 20th, 22, the first C919 was officially delivered to China Eastern Airlines, opening the first chapter in the commercial journey of this ambitious aircraft. While it still faces many challenges in breaking into international markets, the arrival of the aircraft has sent a clear signal the era of unchallenged dominance by Airbus and Boeing is beginning to face a new contender from the East. So, what makes the C919 special enough to challenge the Western giants? But hang on, thanks for staying with us. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and share it with your friends. Join us on this journey and be the first to catch our latest updates. On paper, its specifications may not seem groundbreaking, but behind each number lies a carefully calculated strategy. The aircraft is designed to carry between 158 and 168 passengers, with a maximum range of up to 5,555 kilometers, sufficient to serve domestic and regional routes, which are the most lucrative segments of the aviation market, especially in Asia, where travel demand shows no signs of slowing down. In terms of design, this aircraft is far from outdated. It features a modern aerodynamic configuration, fly-by-wire flight control systems, and an advanced digital cockpit with large LCD displays and intuitive interface technology. While much of the internal technology still comes from Western suppliers like GE and Honeywell, the C919 is optimized to be an economical choice, both in purchase price and operational costs. At a time when global airlines are struggling with fuel prices, maintenance expenses, and rising aircraft costs, the aircraft emerges as a potential game changer. But what truly makes the C919 remarkable isn't just the aircraft itself, it's the industrial ambition behind it. China isn't merely building a new plane, it's building a supply chain, an industry, and a fully integrated domestic aerospace ecosystem. Comac's long-term goal is clear 
to capture at least one third of China's narrow body aircraft market and gradually step onto the international stage. Currently, over 1,000 paper orders have been recorded, most of them from domestic airlines and leasing companies. This is enough to lay the groundwork for mass production and lower unit costs. However, things started to get interesting as the international market slowly began to open up. No one expected foreign customers to take a gamble on a made-in-China aircraft right from its first generation. Yet Gallup Air, a startup airline in Brunei, made headlines by signing a letter of intent with Comac to purchase up to 30 aircraft including 15C919 and 15ARJ21, now rebranded as the C909. This marked the first international order for the C919, a symbolic step toward the Chinese manufacturer's ambition to go global. The story doesn't stop in Southeast Asia. Total Linus Aries, a Brazilian airline specializing in cargo and charter services, has also expressed serious interest in the C919 to operate under an ACMI lease model. And when news broke that several Western carriers had quietly entered talks to purchase the aircraft, the global aviation community was genuinely stunned. It was something no one expected to happen this soon. What's even more remarkable is that Michael O'Leary, CEO of Ryanair, Europe's largest low-cost airline, has publicly expressed his desire to purchase the C919 multiple times, with one clear condition. Comac simply needs to offer it at a lower price than Boeing and Airbus. The idea of a Chinese aircraft bearing the Ryanair logo soaring across European skies once seemed unimaginable, but now it has the potential to reality. But why? Sometimes timing is the most powerful weapon, and right now, Comac holds something that both Boeing and Airbus have lost. Speed, agility, and an unbounded ambition to expand. Indeed, while the two Western giants are still entangled in post-pandemic disruptions, the Chinese manufacturer is quietly advancing. Just as the global market faces an unprecedented aircraft shortage, dozens of major airlines are stuck in production queues stretching three to four years. Airbus has been forced to admit it will not meet its A320neo production targets for 2025. Boeing, meanwhile, continues to struggle with its 737 MAX production crisis, under heavy scrutiny from the FAA. The result is that the airlines have no choice. They must either wait or look for a way out. And the solution is the C919, once an unthinkable option, now becoming strikingly realistic. Unburdened by thousands of backlogged orders, free from severe parts shortages and directly backed by the Chinese government, Comac is stepping forward with an enticing proposition. Faster delivery, more flexible terms, and prices up to 30% lower than Boeing and Airbus. And most importantly, readiness. But Comac isn't just offering low prices and hoping for the best. They are building a comprehensive support ecosystem from favorable leasing finance, low interest rates, to full maintenance services all backed by Chinese banks and state organizations. While low-cost carriers struggle with rising costs to own an A320 or 737 MAX, the C919 becomes a more accessible, viable, and lower-risk option than ever. And in a market where competition is no longer just about commerce, geopolitics plays an increasingly significant role. The growing ties between China and the Gulf nations go beyond oil or infrastructure. Hundreds of billions of dollars have been invested in ports, telecommunications, energy, and now the skies. For the GC countries, purchasing Chinese aircraft isn't just an economic solution. It's a political message, a strategic commitment, and a gateway to trade and investment benefits from Beijing. All these factors, the instability of the West, China's readiness, and the quiet shifts in the global power structure are converging at a breaking point. After decades of being confined to the Boeing Airbus duopoly, the aviation world is witnessing, for the first time, a third option, bold, new, and impossible to ignore, knocking at the door. But building an aircraft is just the beginning. Comac has to overcome the hardest challenges. First, the real battle lies in convincing the world to trust it enough to let it take to the skies. This is the biggest challenge that Comac must climb earning global trust.
While the C-919 has been celebrated as the new face of China's aviation ambitions, it remains firmly shut out of the international stage. The aircraft has not yet received certification from the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration or the European Union Aviation Safety Agency, the two most influential regulatory bodies in global aviation. Without these crucial endorsements, this Chinese aircraft is effectively grounded outside of a limited number of countries. It cannot legally operate in the vast majority of the world's airspace, where safety standards, rules, and regulations are still dictated by Western authorities. So, despite its symbolic significance, the C919 is confined mostly to domestic skies and a handful of markets deemed less restrictive. For a company with global aspirations, this is a heavy shackle. However, overcoming regulatory barriers isn't simply about submitting documents or ticking boxes. FAA and EASA approvals require aircraft to undergo a grueling gauntlet of technical evaluations. Every component, system, and function must endure the most demanding tests imaginable, from malfunction simulations to reliability assessments over tens of thousands of flight hours. It is a painstaking process that stretches across years, not months. And success isn't just about passing these tests, it's about building a reputation for transparency, consistency, and accountability. Boeing and Airbus have spent decades cultivating trust and credibility with these agencies through experience, proven performance, and mutual cooperation. Comac, in contrast, is a new player emerging from a country that continues to face skepticism from the West, especially in high-stakes, high-precision industries like aerospace, where even a single overlooked flaw can result in tragedy at cruising altitude. Building trust in this environment is not just difficult, it's political, technical, and deeply cultural. Second, if one thinks that certification is the final milestone, the reality is far more complex. Airlines do not merely purchase aircraft, they invest in long-term operational ecosystems. That means having immediate access to spare parts, employing well-trained engineers and technicians, relying on maintenance centers that meet international standards, and enrolling pilots in structured regulator-approved training programs. Most importantly, they expect rapid response technical support available 24-7 to minimize downtime. Currently, COMAX infrastructure outside of China is still in its infancy. The global network of support that airlines depend on to keep aircraft flying reliably simply doesn't exist yet for the C919. In commercial aviation, aesthetics or price alone don't make a successful aircraft. Reliability is everything. A software glitch, a single unavailable part, or a delay in technical assistance can ground a plane for days, leading to lost revenue, angry passengers, and damaged reputations. For this aircraft to truly compete on the global stage, the Chinese aircraft maker must build not just a machine, but an ecosystem of trust, support, and dependability across continents.